What's going on, everyone? This is Talks with Kenny here today. We will be reacting to another clip with Andrew Tate and Patrick Bed David. They'll be talking about Logan Paul, and Andrew Andrew Tate gives his opinion about uh, pretty much his whole general statement is that Logan Paul lacks integrity. Let's take a look. Said, I don't roll with Tate. I don't, yeah. I'd love to knock his ass out. He said something like that. Yeah. But then he said, but what I do support is free speech. You know, free speech. speech. But yeah. then his brother said something else. His brother said, you know, the shit that Andrew Tate says will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine because his narrative is truly hateful. His rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it, and it will affect impressionable young people that won't show for years from now, and it's dangerous. Now, this is what he says, this right? So personal responsibility is dangerous, right? Because uh, and maybe he's talking about something else. On the end of the day, I'm talking in generalities, right? I'm, I'm just talking to myself on the camera. So I won't have all the nuance right there and then in my face. But based on like a previous video I uh, listed, maybe it's already out by the time this video comes out. But when he was talking about personal responsibility and how like, yo, women should uh, focus their energy on things that's more probable, which is which, which, which more probable to happen. You're able to change every damn man's world in the world mind not to rape or let me protect myself to limit those factors as much as i can because either i'm strapped or i'm always around other people or i'm never alone i'm never putting myself in a vulnerable position right that that's the sense i get from uh andrew tate based on this clip here right but let's continue right. logan paul you're but, saying but but i want to yeah. i want to say this before you comment on it and then junior supported you tucker supported you i think the guys that like debate and comedians people who appreciate humor yeah. can understand that some of the stuff you're saying is funny as hell you yeah. could be a comedian if you wanted to but yeah. a person has to really pay attention yeah. to the comedy yeah. but you know some some can run with it some cannot run with it yeah. when you hear the people that support and don't support you how do you process that so first things first i want to get very very clear that logan paul is absolutely not really a tool of the matrix he's a bought and sold individual with no soul he doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain you it. You believe that? A hundred percent. Not only do I believe it, he's proved to himself. He will flip flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch. And I okay. Is that Logan Paul lacks integrity. And I, I tend to agree because in Hollywood, there's everyone, like everyone thinks the same way. Like I said, if everyone thought the same popular opinion doesn't make you right. And that's where I, I honestly, I struggle with a lot because when people say, oh, this celebrity said this, this celebrity said that, I said, look, I'm not looking for a celebrity, bro. Look at the evidence, bro. Look out into the world and you can see that what they're talking about doesn't work. The thing is that I prefer honesty, like someone's honest opinion. And that's why I'm so big on freedom of speech. Like, I don't believe just because you're, you have a different um, interpretation of how things should be, you should be canceled for that, that you should be ostracized for that. No, right? They always talk about diversity and inclusion, but they don't. You all look different, but you guys say the exact same talking points. That, that's that's all it seems like the world wants uh, nowadays, especially these corporate media, social media platforms. They all want everyone to look different, but all say the exact same thing, right? It's a hive mind, right? That's all they want. They don't want people who think for themselves, who who can make decisions on their own, who can come to their own conclusions about things and issues. They want everyone to say, hey, here's a script, sir. Read out the script. And I think that's all they really want. They just want you to be NPCs, right? Here's the script. Read the script. If they ask you again, here's the other script. Here's the rebuttal. Like, it's just, they know they're wrong. Like, the Hunter Biden story. This is a perfect example of this. They just, the story just came out. They already labeled it as misinformation. Oh, this is bad. This, oh, this is something wrong with it, right? That was the popular opinion. And what happened? Later on, we came out after the election. It was over. Oh, we verified that it, it was true. The whole media apparatus was wrong, right? And these same people want to come up with as a, as a means of authority and tell you how to think. No, that woke me up. I was like, nah, you got to think for yourself out here. Like everyone, if you get secondhand information, right, it's only one lens you see it through. And that's what I said. Like, like at least I admit that I'm biased. Like I know, like I, I, I heavily favor certain things. So maybe I, I, I know I have a blind spot for other things, right? If you want a holistic um, view on an issue, hear it from two different two different opposing ideas and then in the middle you make an informed decision about what you're getting yourself into at least you know both the pros and the cons of whatever decision you decide to do and that's all I, I that's all i want i just want a more informed america and right now too long we've been hearing uh i say the safe opinion to have 
uh, I'm kind of starting to get tired of safe because if you always safe, you never really grow, right? Because that's how we grow. We grow through challenges, through difficulties, like through obstacles. That's how we grow. And debate, freedom of speech, and exchanging of ideas is the perfect way to do it. Let's get back into it. I've been rambling too long. I will say that here publicly. If anyone wants, I'll fight him for free. The guy's an idiot. No money needed to no fight Logan needed. Paul. Logan Paul doesn't believe in any of the things he says. Logan Paul is a man, if you ever were unfortunate enough to consume his content, I get sent clips of it all the time by people mocking him. As soon as something comes out, whether it's Harry Styles wearing a dress, whether it's uh, little Naz twerking on the devil, whether it's this, he just sits there and goes, yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is great. He is a talking piece. He is the mouthpiece for the agenda. The people have come along, people who are trying to force a narrative, and they said, look, we need to have some degree of control over the exact demographic that Tate has control over. We're going to use Logan Paul and attempt to use him. And he sits there and just purports the bullshit points of view that the whole Hollywood establishment want him to purport. He doesn't believe in the things he said. Mm. He's told what to say. And because he was canceled before and it emotionally destroyed him, he yeah. sat on camera crying his eyes out like a little girl instead of being a man about it. He is so fearful of the mob and mm. so scared of being canceled again that he's going to sit there and say anything he's told. I think this is what happened to that other guy. I forgot his name. Ethan? Uh, I forgot. Was H3H3? H3? I think the same thing, same thing is happening to him. He's worried about getting canceled or whatever. So he, de he deleted a, a lot of his contact that he believed that uh, certain people will find offensive, right? Which I think it was his Jordan Peterson interview. And you see how it, that worked out for him, right? If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, right? And that's all it is. Like, yo, if you're honest about it, if you really truly believe what you do, it doesn't matter where public opinions that say, hey, look, I believe I, what I believe and that's it. Like, I, I have more respect for people like that, that they can tell, be honest about where they really stand on issues. He doesn't believe that shit. Before I was canceled, him and his boyfriend, Mike, did endless videos supporting me, laughing about me, saying how funny I was, tagging me on Instagram, inviting me places, etc. The second I'm canceled, they flip reverse it and shit themselves because they don't want to get canceled too. They are children. That's all they are. So Logan Paul's a bitch. That's the first thing about Logan Paul. And what's actually been interesting about this whole cancellation thing is it hasn't negatively affected me in any serious way because I've been saying on podcasts for years, I know a cancellation is coming. I knew it was coming. I knew that as I got more popular and more yeah. powerful to a degree that it was going to come. But what it has done is it has awoken the world to anyone who's perspicacious enough to pay attention to learn which individuals out here in the social media space actually have character and believe what they say and which are completely bought and sold and are tools to the matrix. I agree. Right. With Trump. That, that's one of the I think this is one of the reasons why people trust Trump more than they trust the media. Right. Because Trump said what he said. Hey, I want to build a wall. Hey, I did this. Hey, I did that. I did that. He didn't apologize for anything. He was just like, yeah, I said that. And it was so refreshing to people because in a day, what's counterculture? Anything that the majority of people believe shouldn't be the case, right? If everyone's saying have a certain um, opinion about feminism, right? And everyone's like, oh, feminism is great. It's great for women, whatever. Counterculture is literally people who are saying, yo, feminism led women astray. They got it wrong. They're only focusing on one side of the issue. Like, if you disagree, right, and the mob can't take it, right, Major the mob rule, which is majority rules, right, a democracy, if the democracy can't handle what you're saying, then you're counterculture. And that's what Andrew, that's what Andrew Tate represents. He's counterculture, right? Oh, this is how you're supposed to believe things. This is who you're supposed to vote for, right? This is why they always go for, like, a cultural market marketing style. Like, this, uh, like I'll just use the Democrats as an example. Right. Oh, Trump is not presidential. Right. He is not our vision of how we expect people to act or be as a president. I think right now what we're hungry for right now is the authenticity. That's honestly what we're hungry for. Real opinions is what offend people, uh, offends people. Not what this. Oh, I mean, let me read off this template the safe way. Right. The people who have decided to stand up for me and say, no, this is bullshit are people who have to some degree credibility. You know, this is this is people who say what they truly believe. But the people who were totally a fan and then post cancellation shit themselves in 180 and to get a new piece of paper to talk from, that should tell out the public out there exactly who's controlled and whether these people have a, a genuine narrative that they're trying to report on the world. And it's interesting. Logan's one of them and there's a few others. But I'm glad it happened just for that alone because it's actually very clear. If you go to Logan Paul's last podcast where he's discussing me, all of his fans and I will, we'll talk about fans and viewers in a minute because I think they're very different things. All of his fans, which he has none of, all of his viewers are sitting there insulting him, saying, bro, 
they're your fucking bitch. Like everyone, all of his own watchers are calling him names because it's so transparent and so obvious what he's doing. Fans versus viewers. Fans versus viewers, very different things. So he, he doesn't have any fans, he has viewers. And Susan and the Matrix and the people in charge of the social media companies are like, okay, we've set our media machine. Let me ask you guys questions as professionals. Let's assume, as professionals, let's assume what I'm saying is correct. Let's assume that the social media companies, when they banned me, set their media machine to all release thousands of news articles at the same time, trying right. to convince the world I'm an evil man. If they had that degree of power and influence, which I think we can all probably agree they do, don't you think they'd take their number one talking piece to the demographic, which is my fan, and give him a piece of paper and tell him what to say? I tend to agree. Yeah, and you, I'm going to hear conspiracy theory again. This is all conspiracy theory. My only, the only issue I have is that any voice, right, any person, anyone with any significant following challenge the status quo, banned, right? Jordan Peterson, that's not beautiful, banned, right? Someone called, I forgot, some guy called, started calling uh, people groomers, right? May Twitter change his terms of service, banned him. I forgot who it was, and maybe you guys could let me know in the comment section. Dude got banned, like, like, like there's not gays against groomers out there. They got banned. Right. You go against what they say. Hey, this is the script. Everyone must follow it. And you go, no, I'm not following that mm -mm. because at the end of the day, they can't let a, a rebellious voice stand because of the, what happened If they see that person standing, and he makes too much sense. He's going to start taking he's going to sway public opinion about it. And that's not what they want. They don't want public opinion to be swayed. They just want, hey, this is the machine. This is the talking point. This is what everyone has to agree with. And this is kind of the benefits of having the Internet. Because back in the day with Gen um, Boom Baby Boomers and Gen X, all you heard was the talking uh, the talking heads that the corporate media put in front of you, right? Those are like, okay. This is guys okay. This guys okay. This guys okay. But with the internet now, it's decentralized, right? Everyone can put up their opinions out and on online freely, and it, it's a trade off, right? So so people can't agree on basic facts anymore at, in this day and age in 2022. But you get more information from different types of sources and people. They're not like some media person that, oh, you don't know if they were handpicked to be a talking piece or a mouthpiece, as uh, Andrew Tate is put, uh, pointing out there. It could be like everyday individuals like myself that's living their daily lives, working their job, and just saying, hey, I see it differently than what uh, this person is saying. And I believe that's more um, informative than just listening to a talking head on some corporate media apparatus that's putting them up there because then they, they're gatekeepers. They only let certain people in on that platform, right? Does that not make sense? Does that make sense to say, well, we told all the news to say Tate's bad, and all of his fans are 18 to 25 year old men. Who do we have on YouTube who obeys us like a little cuck who, who speaks to 18 to 25 year old men? Logan Paul. Okay, Logan, here's your piece of paper. Do you want to get canceled again, Logan? No, you don't want to get canceled, do you? No, no, Mom. You're saying a call no. like that was made? 100%. The dude's a bitch. He, he 180'd from a super fan. To, to talking about my rhetoric being dangerous but there's in, a in 24 hours. There's a difference between you saying who you think he is versus you making the speculation that he got called by somebody to say, here's a narrative we want you to take or else we'll silence you. Well, Logan is not capable of independent thought. So if someone didn't give him the narrative, he didn't think it up himself. The dude's an empty vessel. He says what he is told to say. Somebody somewhere told Logan what to say and what stance to take. We can argue whether it was a social media company, whether it was his manager who was fearful, right. whether whatever. But somebody sat with Logan and said, look, Tate's getting a lot of smoke. You were cool with him. Your boyfriend, Mike, was cool with him. He's getting a lot of smoke right now. You're going to bitch out. And he sat there and said, yes, sir. Yes, I will. Because he has no character or no integrity. If it was all the other way around, let's imagine he was getting canceled. And I truly believed it was unfair. I'd sit there on my own platform and say, this is bullshit. Because I'm not bought, sold, and owned. He's an owned individual. So he's always going to say what he is told to say. He's always going to sit on podcasts, speaking to the youth, promoting Harry Styles wearing a dress, saying that it's great that little Naz twerks on the devil in real time for our children to digest and then say, I'm dangerous to the youth. Because that you're dangerous to youth because you're going to inspire a rebellion against the current system. I, that's my take, right? That's, that's what they deem dangerous, right? Just like the Democrats when they say this is a threat to democracy. What democracy are you talking about? America's not a democracy. America's a republic, right? But they give you this idea. Oh, this is every every time I hear threat to democracy, I always translate into threat to our power. That's it. That's all it is. Threat to our power. Mob rule, threat to our power, right? And one point I wanted to add on to it, like it's like something that what the Bible says that what a good is a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul. And to me, soul is just a conceptual way of saying your integrity. 
who you are, your values, what you truly believe in, right? Is money that wor is worthy, worth it to trade all those in? Just for, oh, I get my view. I still keep my YouTube channel. I still get my brand deals. I still get my sponsorship. This is why um, the authoritarian left, when they come out and they want to ban people, they use institutions to try to prosecute you, right? Oh, take away, complain to his sponsors. Oh, I can't believe you support this name call X name call here, Ben Shapiro. And then, okay, pull your sponsors. Like with the what happened with Daily Wire and Harry's uh, Razors. I didn't know who. And the funny part is, is the same, it's the same exact thing that happened to Trump. Right, the leftists don't like Trump. They keep pushing him out there, saying this man is bad. This man is bad, and anyone with critical thinking will be like, "Why is he bad?" And then they go do their own research, and then they make up their own mind. Okay, Trump's not bad. Trump's not that bad. Like they they're exaggerating here. They took this thing out of context. He was making a joke here. Why are they taking him so damn seriously? Because they're trying to paint him in a negative light. And this is what literally this is what I do all the time. The minute someone comes up and they try to paint someone in a negative light, I said, I need to know, I need to make my personal choice about this person because I can't just follow what the popular opinion is because the popular opinion can be prioritizing one thing when me personally, I prioritize another thing, right? Safety versus freedom. That's it. If I prioritize freedom and you're, the whole mom in town say, this person's bad for safety. I'm like, yo, I care about my freedom more. I ain't going to agree with you. This is, this is a nuanced take, right? Well, hey, let's continue. I'm about to finish this up this video right now. That's what he's been told to say. Logan Paul has absolutely no capability for independent thought. And he has no character as a man. That's who Logan Paul is. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch in time. Damn, that boy said you got no integrity at all. But what do you guys think about in the video? Do you think Logan Paul has integrity, don't have integrity? Do you think Andrew Tate is wrong about this, about his opinion about him? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.